Um, hello guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the best emulator for the PS3. Um, it has about 10 plus things it can emulate, including the Game Boy, which would be the most favourite, playing a wee bit of Pokemon. Um, first of all, you need to go to the link in the description, the first one, and that will bring you up to Meg Upload. Three, four seconds, and then you just want to download that. It's a small download. Once you get that, now this is already a package file, so you don't need to open it up like the other videos. You just want to open up containing folder and drag it to your pen drive. It's just not letting me do so. Open up my pen drive. As you can see, that's the folder. I want to move this to my pen drive. And I've already put it across. So now that we have it on our pen drive, we can go install it and see if it works. Also, um, I forgot to say, there'll be a link in the description for what I think is the best website to get ROMs off. And I will show you it now. So it's called Dope. ROMs. I will download a ROM to show you if it works. So I'm going to go get let's see, Game Boy Advance game. So all you do is you go on, type in a game, There's Pokemon. There it is there. Any of these? We'll get Ruby. Then you want to download the ROM. It's a zip file, so you need to extract it. Well, open it up and then extract to your um, pen drive once you get it. So, once this finishes, I'll show you it. I'm also going to show you that how to then move the file from the pen drive onto the hard drive. So that you don't have to keep the pen drive in to play the games using um, the awesome file manager. So there is it. There it is. Let's open up the pen drive. Also, you just put this in the root of the folder. So that is now over there. That link will also be in the description. Now the last thing we're going to need. So this is only if you want to back them up to your hard drive so you don't have to play them off the pen drive and we're gonna that link will be in the description right so that's now go get the file manager the link is also in the description it'll take you to mega upload just hit regular download open it is also just the package file so what you want to do is just Extract that straight to the pen drive. I've already got it done, speed up time. Close these, and as you can see on my pen drive, sorry guys, forgot I didn't have the file on. So that's it now on. So now that we have the three files, we're going to go install them. We'll be installing the Matafan, the Game Boy one, and then this one if you want to back up the ROMs onto your actual HDD. all the files from the pen drive needed just go ahead and plug that in start up your PlayStation and then we can go install the packages so we're going to install the emulator first there it is there I already have it installed so I don't need to do it again and then we're going to install the awesome file manager which lets us back up our ROMs to our HDD 
Now that's installed. Go down to end the fan. Open it up. Now once you get this open, see and we put the ROM on our root of our USB, that's where you go to find it. And there is Ruby. Now when you start this up, it will all load fine. You'll just need to put in the input that you want to use for the game. But now what we want to do is because that's on that, we want to back this up to our HDD in the games folder like I have with my older game. And how we do this is by going to Awesome File Manager and transferring the file. And I will show you how to do this now. So let's go to Awesome File Manager. Now, this might look a wee bit funny, but what we want to do is open up the pen drive, find the file, go across, pick HDD0, hit X, go down to Games in capitals, hit X, and go across again to the other side, find the ROM, and hit Circle, and it will come up. Are you sure you want to copy from the pen drive the ROM to the HDD games and you want to hit start to copy? And it might say you're not allowed to do it in this mode. So hit select, the screen should go red. This means now you're allowed to copy. So just hit circle and then hit start and it'll come up copy and file. And now if you go across you have your ROM right here. Hope this tutorial helped you guys. Guys, to show you that it is not my HDD, I'm going to show you me loading up the game. So I copied it to games in capitals, load that up, and now there's Pokemon Ruby, like I said. And there's it loading. Alright, I will have in the description all the different emulators this thing can play. Hope this helped.